I think being the light is um, taking an additional step um, to reach out to people. I have been lecturing for around six years already. I lecture in a small college that focuses on people coming from lower income group. So these people, they wouldn't be thinking about continuing their studies after SPM uh, and we reach out to them. So what we do is we build up a prayer altar at our place with uh, some of my Christian friends and we pray for each other every day on the work that we do, on the people that we deal with also. So we form a Christian fellowship in a college and I lead the fellowship. So there is a platform where we, we started by getting the students who are weak in their studies to join and then we do group study and after that uh, we share God's uh, word to them, we share gospel with them. So um, yeah, some of them have actually accepted Christ. There was one student, she is a eldest daughter in the family and that's why the parents didn't want her to study so didn't support her at all what i see from her is that she was really putting in effort in her study and then i encouraged her a lot so now she works in one of the very big company and then she started to support back her her parents and these kind of things uh, when i when i hear the story of all these students how how their life being transformed with uh, the relationship i built up with them then to see the lives of the students being transformed, that, that is the motivation. Yeah. And of course, also, I, I see spiritual growth a lot inside of me, which I believe I won't be able to experience if I choose just to be a quiet Christian. I think being a light is difficult if we use our own strength. When I pray, when I do devotion, then I will, I will get the, the strength I need to, to just uh, motivate me just to continue.